Hey guys, what is the crack? And today we are looking at the best way you can win solos in Warzone and uh, the best tips and tricks that will help you get more wins in the future. So uh, we're going to jump into the video and I'm going to show you a breakdown of a win I personally get and we can go through it together and see why I think this is the best method and why you should probably adapt some of these tips and tricks if you want to get more wins. So let's hop in and have a look. So guys, tip number one that you want to win solos with is you need to figure out where you're going to land at the start of the game. Landing is probably one of the most important places uh, and things you do for, for to start your game off good, get good progression, get money, get your guns and get started really well. Uh, I decide to go up towards summit and military side because I know you have the high ground all the way down here and the map is probably going to end up somewhere around this direction. So you know that you're going to travel down here, you're going to hold high ground and you're also going to chase circle rather than trying to keep up with the circle and getting held by other teams. You want to be the person holding teams and you also want to be uh, a, a clever player in this situation so that you're ahead of teams and certain players okay guys so you can see i have decided where i wanted to go now i'm gonna try get there but one thing you have to notice is this right here people that are floating around you i have already have four people above me i know that this is kind of going to be busy one of my big tips is try find somewhere that's not too busy but there's a few people if you want to get a few kills fair enough if you're able to handle it but if you want to get a good start get the money get the guns get everything out of the way first i recommend somewhere less busy uh, and away from scavs because people just like rotate and they're just magnets towards scavs they want the money and that's how you get quick money in this game so as you can see i was fighting a few people i bail out i land and i need to find a gun before this guy does that is a major thing can't get one but i catch him on the slip and i get a pistol shots and a pistol whip so i'm lucky there i nearly died there so to start of any game, you really want to try to get your best loot you can. I think I have a PPSH here and I have a stoner, which is a very good setup for the start of a game. Also, because I am confident in my kills and I know there's people around me, I'm going to get a UAV with the money I have straight away rather than build up for a loadout because I know that a lot of people dropped here and I want to make sure I don't get caught rotating wrong and get shot in the back or so on. So I popped the UAV, I'm running across the way and I'm kind of running at an angle and I'm going to explain that more when we get into more depth in the game. I can also see there's a player up here behind me, you can see on the map, and I can also see that there's approximately five players up here. So that's a very busy spot. And if you're not confident with your guns and you're not confident with where you play, do not challenge this, rotate away from these people. But because I kind of think I can take a few of these out because I have a good gun set up right now, I'm going to go for some kills and uh, see what I can do. So... Because I know where they are, I've left myself in a good position where I have a wall and a kind of a heady so I can get a few shots on these uh, with a chance of me not dying if they go to shoot me back. Plus, I know where they are and they do not know where I am, which is very, very valuable in my books. The disadvantage I have in this situation is the guy has the high ground, but he doesn't know where I am. So I'm able to beam him very, very quickly with the stoner. I also catch the other guy running, but I don't get the full kill on him. Now... This guy is the guy that makes my life the most difficult in this whole game. And I mean the most difficult because in this situation later and at the very end of the game, this guy is a good player. And I know he's a good player from the way he slid out of that, slid out of that fight. You got to recognize when players are good and know when to challenge them and know not to challenge them. Now, in my own head, I think and I can take this guy, I have a good gun and he's sliding around and he's weak. So I kind of keep trying to challenge him. So the storm's moving in and I recommend getting a nice high kind of area like a 360 like this so you can see everything going on. The circle's going to push people in. I think this guy's still over here. I'm looking this way and I'm sure he's there. But do not underestimate the speed people can move in this game because pretty soon you can see he is behind me and shooting me so quickly. He nearly kills me there. I bail out that really quickly and I sneakily try to get away here. So... Me and this guy have been going back and forth for a while and I know he's a good player and I have literally zero plates. You can see my plates down the bottom left. I have uh, about three quarters of one plate left and I decide to try to get ahead of his storm, get ahead of him. Now, in a usual situation, I would explain that you would want to rotate nice and early and make sure you hold anyone that's in your sis in your in your area. And that's what I'm trying to do. It's just that I got held up with this player and he's a pretty good player. So you got to play differently in them situations. So what I'm thinking right now, if you want to know what I'm trying to do, is I'm trying to bait the storm on him. So he knows the storm's going to push him. I'm hoping that he'll push out and I'll get clean shots on him and down him or kill him either or. But this guy is uh, pretty quick on the trigger and he gets me because one shot with a sniper 
will kill me. So it was my own mistake trying to challenge this guy because I knew he had a sniper, I knew he was good, and I knew that if he hit me, even one bullet, even if it was my leg, I was still getting killed and I had no self-revive. So in them situations, know when you're kind of bet. Don't challenge a sniper when they have range on you and uh, just try to get ahead of the storm, replay it, and uh, just get a better position and then refight, go back into another battle again. But as you can see, I child here, miss a few shots, and he snipes me very quickly. See, he's pre-aiming already. He's level 731, so he knows what he's doing. And he gets a good snipe. Most people will die once in a game. It's just common. It just happens all the time. That's why the Gulag's here. Gulag's for your second chance. So you got to use this to your advantage. Uh, know how to play your Gulag. Hopefully you are able to play it well. Usually I work the right side. I shoot off the heady. I run under the right. Sometimes I play around there or I'll stun. In this case, I do have a stun, uh, and I can see what's going on. Uh, other than that, I just play by ear. That's history. It. It's a 1v1. You got to try your best in the situations. See, I run out. I channel heady. I just don't even care if he's there. I shoot it. Now, I know he's not there, so I'm going to go try stun, but I'm pretty sure I get stunned at the same time, and I see him center. C4 misses luckily, and I know he's probably going to go left. He's not there. I work off the heady, and it's just a, a trade. It was very close. It was going to go either way. I Just because I had the heady, I got it. So like everyone, everyone's going to die in this game, as I just said. So you win your gulag, you're back out. You need to find a way to regain where you were, where your guns are, your plates, your money, everything. So in this case, usually I look straight away for a scav. And luckily enough, there is a scav in Boneyard. And I'm going to go straight for this. I'm going to regain off this. And then I'm going to reposition in a place where I think the map's going to end. That's how I will regain from anything. If I can't find a scav, I will hopefully go to a place that has not been looted. I'll just look around and see if cars have been moved. Or I'll just look for an area that's kind of not usually hit. Like maybe somewhere out here uh, or somewhere out here and just try get a little bit of cash, a little bit of money and work my way into getting a kill, get some guns off someone or get a full regain, and get a load out and get back into the game. So guys, I get the scav and I run into this really nasty gunfight. He has me in the open and I have a, uh, a bullfrog and I think I have a sniper. So I need to work this a bit differently. Now, in this case, I'm going to show you how to win gunfights when it's probably not in your um, uh, in your favor. And in this situation, it is definitely not in my favor. I get absolutely beamed and I only have one plate spare. So I put one plate back on. I try to change my position. One thing about Warzone, always move. Do not stay in the same position. Shoot, move, shoot, move, shoot, move. It's actually impossible for someone to figure out where you are then. Unless you stay in the one spot and you're stuck there from gas or you're just held. That's just the way it goes. But in these situations, you want to move, shoot, move, shoot. Keep them guessing. Uh, they might get tracked thinking where you were last time. And then you're able to get a side shot and win the fight. I know he's coming from this direction. I can hear his footsteps as well. He's on my left. I can hear him. But he has me too. He's creeping with a harpy. I missed a snipe shot. I'm very unlucky there. Uh, he's on my left. I know that. I pre-shoot. Don't see him. I drop back. No, remember, I have very little place. He has probably full place. So I'm pre-shooting anything I hear him come from. There he is there. I'm using this as my advantage. Do you see what I'm doing now? I'm using this cover to head dip. And shoot, head dip and shoot. This is the only way you're going to win this. I got good clean shots there. I'm very weak. I bounce back down. I have nine bullets. I know that I need to reach out this as quick as possible because if he plays back up, I'm probably dead. And I get to down. And I have a throwing knife and I just finish that off. So another thing with solos I'd like to point out is people are kind of rats in solos. So you got to be really careful with things. Just for an example, I was running along here and then on this crane, there's a guy sniping and, you know, most games, I, you won't you won't see that in quads, in so in, in duo. I don't see it anywhere really. But for some reason, in solos, people are just camping places. So as you can see, I hear him shoot, and I also had a UAV before this, so I know someone's in this area. Don't know where he is, but then I hear his shot go off, and then I realize he's up there somewhere. So this is the problem. This is what I'm trying to explain. If you're stationary in one spot, he's not going to go anywhere. He cannot go anywhere. I'm about to beam him off a mount. Bad shots, really, but I still get him. That's his own fault. He's stationary in one spot. He was always going to die there. There was nowhere where he was winning it. Even if he jumped off it, I was still beaming him. Quick note that I'd like to point out there. Loadout drop incoming near the end on the fifth circle. So it happens in the first circle at the end last 15 seconds. And it happens in the fifth circle on the 45 second mark. So these are big things in first and end circle. If you can see, it'll, it'll basically give you kind of a map of where players are coming from. Uh, I can't see it now because I'm in a building, but I'm just giving a heads up on that. If you ever want to figure out where people are and you have no UAVs to figure out where they are, 
uh, wait for the loadout to drop and you can see where the majority of people are bundled up near the end circle. So once again, I purchased the UAV. I figured out where one player is exactly. I know the other two are still over the other side and I'm going to try to rotate. If you can see this map right now, the way you should rotate, and this should be the whole time. Obviously, at the start of the game, I was planning on doing this, but I got um, sidetracked with someone that was actually holding me really well and shoot me, and he's a good shooter. But what you want to do is this far ahead of the circle and running at a rotation straight across and then to your spot. Just rotating this way. That covers off left and then forward, and it'll, like your back should be covered from you running. That is the best way you can rotate into circles. Don't do the noob thing and run straight into the circle. If I run straight in here through the open, someone's probably going to be me. This probably this person probably is going to be me. Don't wait for the circle to be right on top of you and then run. That's going to leave you with nowhere to go turn back and just run in the open again and get killed. So what you want to do is 10, 15 seconds, maybe 20 seconds before the circle comes to you. You want to run at an angle and run in and up and take high ground if you can in any of these situations and buildings try not to run in the open in this case i have to run in the open there's nowhere else to go this is a very open circle so it's a good example of how you should probably deal with an open open type circle like this so as you can see i have moved up to where my point is where basically where i was telling you you go up diagonally from that house down low i know there's someone up here because i had the uav so i play this slow because this is a very hilly area and you gotta play these things slow because you're in the last six people now you're in the last six or five people now. You're going to play slow. Don't take fights unless you have a clear shot because it's going to give away your position. People are waiting for you to give away your position in the last circle in the solos. It is so common just to shoot and get shot straight away at the end. So if you can play it slow, in this case, he's so in the open, I have to shoot him. You'll see. Checking around, checking around. See no one's on him. Get him. He's about to get away. Get the long shot on him. All good. So as you can see, there's a red car coming up. Please, please do not grab a vehicle unless you really have to at the end game, especially that car. That car, you can beam someone out of that car really quickly. But you're giving away your position. You're giving away everything. Everyone knows where you are. They're all going to be looking at you. You can imagine this person. There's four people left, me included. That means the three other people were probably looking at that car, realistically. So don't get caught shooting that car, giving away your position because them other guys looking at you are going to see the bullets fly from your gun at that car and then they're just going to shoot you. So play really smart. If you're more clever than people in this game in the situations and more patient, you will win more battles. Now, I know someone will be here as well because that's a really good spot. I'm keeping an eye out. Now, would you look who it is? It's the guy from the start of the game with the sniper. And I know that because it's the same skin and he is sniping. It's the exact same guy that killed me. So I know this guy is a good player. I know he's clever. I know he's going to play circle and he's going to play with a sniper. So he's going to be at range. So this guy, it's round two. He's one up, but this is the one that matters. He won the battle, but this one might win the war. So I'm keeping an eye on this guy because I know what he's going to do. I'm not going to shoot first because I know that there's a guy on my right. And I don't know where there's a third. So I need to be careful. There's one more person. I haven't figured out where he is. So I'm going to wait for a fight and possibly third party. And the red dots go off. So shooting the car. Car's blown up. Car guy got. So the sniper killed him. As you can see, he's running back to reload again. But the bullet, the last sniper bullet that went, got a kill. Someone dropped. So there's still a guy on the right. And there's still this guy on top. I decide this is a really good chance to beam him. And to be honest, I mess up. I should really kill him here. But I still beam. I think it's a good chance because he's engaged with someone else. I feel like he's down his scope here. So I think he's like tunnel visioned and I go for this. So weak. So weak. That's so sad. But all right, I know that he's broken. He's going to use some plates. But I still know that the guy in the right is still up there. So I got to play so clever. The sniper's good. So when he sees me... Oh, see, I could have got sniped there. Now, the sniper is is beaming, all right? He's after killing the other guy. So now I know it's 1v1, me v the sniper, me v the guy that killed me at the start of the game. This is a big moment for me. And I just know in my heart and soul, I need to kill this guy. I cannot let him kill me again. He is ready at the corners. Weak. He's good sniper. Try a termite to distract. He's going to go right and left to this thing. It's the best way snipers work. They'll move left and right, not leaving their position to one spot. 
Now, a big thing on last circle. So this is circle eight. That means that the circle is actually going to move to a new area in the gas, which is pushing everyone out of their area where they're camping or staying or whatever they're doing or holding. Now, in my benefit here, it's actually going to work for me because if you look at the top screen up here where the map is, this guy is on this and this is in the gas at the back. So he can't hide here anymore, but he can hide back left and you can jump through and come with a gas mask and come back right. But I know if I hold here as long as I can, the storm will push him quicker than it will push me because it will rotate here like this and I'll still be in circle. But for him, he, he kind of has to move. So if I just play this smart, don't get headshotted, I should be fine. Oh, he gets a good clip there. He, he's a good sniper. That could have killed me right there. So he hits me here. I push to this tree. And the only reason I dip out is because I'm making sure he's not pushing. Because if he's running right now, I want to catch him on the run. Because I'll kill him quickly. Right here, watch. Right there. I shoulder dip to figure out where he is at. Now, he could have killed me there. He's a very, very good sniper. Whoa, bam, straight. At, he nearly got me. I move again. Get closer for more kills. As I said, move and shoot. Just he's soon to be looking at that other tree, then he's looking for me again. He doesn't know where I am. I just keep moving on him. He's probably like, where is this guy? He's going behind every tree. So you just need to make sure you keep moving, shooting, moving, shooting, moving, if you can. If you can. The circle is gonna push him out from behind this thing up here. I'm on the map up top left. If you're looking to see my mouse, he is probably here somewhere and he's probably gonna push this way. Now he probably should push down if he can, so he can come back up and above. He's not he's not gonna be able to. He probably doesn't have a gas mask or something. He probably has to move. So he's going to go straight here, direct line. And I know that. I'm just sitting here, covering off my right completely with these trees. And I am waiting for him to peek that left side. The minute he does, I'm beaming him. That's what's going to happen here. So be patient in these situations. He's going to, as long as he doesn't know where I am, we're all good. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Storm's pushing, storm's pushing, storm's pushing. There he is. Beam, 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 beam. Dead. And if you see what I seen on that situation, which is the most beautiful thing, and look at that, revenge. Revenge is sweet. Mr. Useless that got me earlier is dead now. And now in fairness, he was a good player, level 731. That is a good player. So guys, just to recap on what is very important and what we've looked through on this video, I'm trying to cover a lot of different things so that you have a general idea of how to play better in solos, how to actually get more wins in solos. And uh, overall, just give you a better percentage and ratio of where you, uh, where you rank top 10s, top 5s, and of course the win. We're just going to do a quick summary of what happened. Don't land in really busy areas, land a little bit outside the circle and then run at a rotation with a diagonal push. The way I explained at the end of this last few circles, diagonal push straight across, covering anything left and in front, your back should be covered because you're running from the gas. If you do land, get good guns. Stoners, just know the good guns, what to pick up. An SMG and usually a good AR is always good. Start to any game. If you can, get UAVs when you're moving through the storms to make sure no one's gatekeeping you from busy spots. And also keep an eye out for shops because that's where a lot of people do camp around waiting for other people to pop up. Now, if you die, as I mentioned, look for uh, something after your gulag, which can get you more money. Most beneficial thing you can get is a scav because it's going to give you the armor place at the end and it's going to give you the money, probably enough to get another loadout. Rotate early if you can. You can gatekeep people if you want. But as I said, when you do rotate, go diagonally. But if you do rotate earlier, keep an eye on where you came from and keep an eye out a little bit ahead and keep anyone pushing from the storm late and just gatekeep for kills if you want. And the very important thing on the last circle, the last 10 people, you've seen how slow I played the game. I didn't overextend anything. I didn't shoot at the car that popped up. I didn't shoot at people. First, I, I seen people. I noticed them and I'd look around to make sure someone else didn't see me or see them as well. I wait for someone to see if they shoot them first, giving away position. Kills is not the thing here. I'm trying to explain to you how to win the game, not get the best kills in the game. If you want a better video on how to get more kills, I can do that for you. But for to win more games, this is how you do it. And last but not least, do not just do recons and sit at the very end circle. It might work now and again with a third party. But honestly, you're just wasting your time. You're sitting there for 20 minutes. No fun to you. No fun for anyone else. And you're probably going to get killed by a good COD player. If they see you, they're just going to just take you off that hill or take you out of that place. So your best option is what I'm saying. This is the most effective. Move with the circle. Rotate properly 20, 15 seconds ahead of the circle. Just continue that all the way in until you get a good advantage point and then try to win the game as you just see. Guys, they are all the tips and tricks I can think of right now. Uh, if I have any more, you can talk to me in my chat during my live streams. They are Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays at 10 p.m. So if you really want to get more in depth on how to win more and what's your best loadouts, I will be there at them times. So jump in, have a chat with me. 
Uh, other than that, I hope the video helps you. I hope you can bring some of these tips into your own game. And I appreciate it that you watched this so far. Uh, and if you're new to the channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell as well if you want to jump on them streams. So guys, thanks very much. And I guess I'll see you in the next one. See ya.